Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Spider-Man Miles Morales video. And today what I got for you guys is something really exciting. I'm gonna be giving you my official hands-on impressions and overall review for Spider-Man Miles Morales. Before we get into everything though, I wanted to ask you guys, of course, if at any point you enjoy the video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video at any point, leaving a like rating would be awesome. And if you're new here and you're looking forward to Spider-Man Miles Morales or Spider-Man Remastered, I got you covered. I'm covering all the news, updates, trailers, gameplay, my reactions, my inevitable let's play when the game does launch on November 12th and all that fun stuff. I got your back on whatever you wanna know for both games. And if that sounds good to you, well then if you'd like, you can subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live. Live. And I also wanted to give a huge shout out to the folks at Sony Interactive Entertainment Canada for providing me a review code of Spider-Man Miles Morales. And with all that being said, let's jump into this. I do want to mention that the code I got was for the PS4 and all the recorded footage you see in the background was done on a PS4 Pro. And while I do wish that I got to experience this game for the first time with the ray tracing or the 60 FPS performance mode, I am happy to say that even on the PlayStation 4, this game looks damn good. Swinging around in a snow version of Marvel's New York is amazing. The cutscenes and the performances from the characters look fantastic. Everything here is top notch. If you're not going to have the chance to get the PlayStation 5 at launch, I would still highly recommend getting your hands on Spider-Man Miles Morales for your PS4. The game just looks great. And even if you can't really tell the difference, if it's a little too subtle for you, well, there's an element to Spider-Man Miles Morales that is 1000% a massive upgrade in comparison to Spider-Man PS4, and that's in its gameplay. And I need to break this up in parts. First up, Traversal. This is the best Spider-Man game when it comes to Traversal we've ever had to date. They've taken the mechanic of air tricks and completely implemented them within your web swinging. If you time your air tricks correctly with your web swing, you'll see a fluid, completely seamless animation that goes from your air trick into the web swing it is so good you might almost even be overwhelmed if you go into the moves list and just see that there are a plethora of different types of air tricks to perform it's not just a cannonball and a backflip anymore you can combine two different movements in midair to create another air trick in every direction it is so cool add that to the already great traversal mechanics we had in spider-man ps4 which do reoccur here in spider-man miles morales and then as well the ability to utilize your venom powers giving you a double jump maybe even a triple jump at some points i cannot believe how much and i know it's a meme to say this this game makes you feel like Spider-Man. Then we have the combat, which on one hand has a lot of things you'll remember from Spider-Man PS4, so your muscle memory will kick in there, but there's also a level of unfamiliarity, largely in part due to Miles having the Venom abilities. Of course, you got the Venom Strike. That's just the normal punch. You've seen it a bunch already. Then we have the Venom Jump, which launches people in the surrounding area up with you. You have a Venom Dash where you throw yourself at somebody and then toss them over into another group of enemies a ground pound, and so on. It really blew me away how much Insomniac put effort into making sure you rely on Miles' powers. This is a younger Spider-Man, an inexperienced Spider-Man. He needs these crazy OP abilities to help him take down a group of enemies. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about in terms of gameplay specifically is, of course, the stealth. And having the camouflage ability really does make a lot of stealth encounters just feel like easy mode. But considering you don't have a ton of gadgets to use in this game, you really really need that extra bit of assistance. Having wall or ceiling takedowns is also great. I'm sure this is a feature that'll carry over into a Spider-Man 2. And besides that, for the most part, the stealth feels the same. And although it's not really gameplay, I did want to give a big shout out to Insomniac with what they've done for Harlem in this version of Marvel's New York. Outside of that, this is just about exactly the New York you had in Spider-Man PS4. But again, what they've done with Harlem and the culture that they've added into it is great. And that sort of transitions us into the next thing that I wanted to talk about, and that's just overall the characters. There's some great representation here. A lot of characters that you'll run into that provide you all sorts of different walks of life. And while I think that Najee Jeter did a great job in Spider-Man PS4, he knocks it out of the park in Spider-Man Miles Morales. Completely nails the emotional beats, has amazing chemistry with his best friend Genki, and even as Spider-Man, the quips are there. We get just an ever so small sample sizing of his interactions with Peter while they're both now Spider-Men, and it gets me very excited for the future of that 
friendship and for them to both be the lead protagonists in a Spider-Man 2 if slash when we get that sequel. If I were to go into some negatives, although I can't really show them for you as a general opinion, some alternate suits just don't work for me. There's quite a bit of suits that are created by Insomniac, which is fine. I know Miles doesn't have a ton of alternate suits to choose from, but there's still some really cool ones they missed from the comic books that we'll hopefully get as DLC. And then I guess another thing that I would mention is that the story isn't as great as Spider-Man PS4 for me, but I don't think it's bad. In fact, in some areas, it's better than Spider-Man PS4. So I'll still give props to Insomniac. It's not meant to be this massive full-on sequel equal to Spider-Man PS4. It's smaller scale. It doesn't feature as many characters or as many boss battles. So you shouldn't go in expecting any of that. That's not to say though that the boss battles we do get and the story that is presented here doesn't fumble in some areas. Unfortunately, this is a topic I can't get too far into because of spoilers. To jump back to some positives though, Holy smokes, the photo mode in this game is incredible. I'm showing you on screen right now some of the photo mode creations I've made. I've sunk a ton of hours into photo mode already, and this isn't even the PS5 version with the ray tracing and all the crazy visual enhancements. This is just the version on the PS4 Pro. I'm not gonna say too much, but some of the photos you've seen on screen were actually taken when, in game, it was broad daylight. I know for a lot of people, photo mode isn't that big of a deal. It's not a make or break for them, and it isn't for me either. Even if the photo mode was terrible in Spider-Man Miles Morales, it wouldn't ruin my gameplay experience. But since it's very good, it enhances my gameplay experience. At this point though, I'm counting down the seconds until November 12th when I get my PlayStation 5 so I can jump in and try out photo mode on that console. And that just about sums up my thoughts on Spider-Man Miles Morales. I'm super impressed. Insomniac has delivered on a game that had a two year turnaround. For it not even being full price, I cannot recommend it to you enough. Had Spider-Man PS4 not existed, I could see this as a full priced $60 game with the amount of content that is here. Also, for the character of Miles to have only been introduced nine years ago to now be leading a game, having an animated film with a sequel on the way, that's crazy. This character provides some great representation and Insomniac puts that on full display in Spider-Man Miles Morales. I'm thoroughly impressed with the game and so I'm gonna have to give it a 9 out of 10. Now I want to throw it to you guys and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you think of my review? Does it get you more hyped for the game? And if you enjoyed my review, if you could consider leaving a like rating on the video, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose and you can click on screen and make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later. Also, we must protect Spider-Cat at all costs.